Good morning, Modern Steaders. Another brisk 50 degree morning this morning. <sighs> it's sad not seeing old CWC out here first thing in the morning greeting us. You pigs ready for breakfast? <laughs> Look at that. We've got some squash plants or something growing over here. In the... oh, that's a riot. Look at all those squash plants. You guys miss old CWC? She's not out here eating your food on you? Huh? After we're done milking this morning, we'll have to go check our traps and see if we caught anything. I hope we did. I just hope it's not a skunk like last year. It's not fun catching skunks. Our friend Jake from White House on the Hill knows all about that. He just caught a skunk the other day. <laughs> oh, it's not fun. Morning, y'all. Buttercup, you're like the rammer. The ram schmam, thank you, ma'am. If you're just tuning in, you haven't watched yesterday's video, I'll put a link to it right here. We had a predator attack on the homestead. Uh, they got one of our chickens, one of our prized chickens, and then it tried breaking into quite a few of our chicken enclosures. So I ended up setting some traps last night, that's all on yesterday's video. And this morning we're gonna see if we have anything in those traps. I hope so. We need to get some justice for old CWC. Thank you, Willow. Oh, thank you, Willow. Think we caught anything, Tanner? Huh? Think we got anything in our traps? Check the first one by the meat birds. Uh-oh. Tanner don't like it. Maybe we got something? Nope. The door's still up. What don't you like? He's crawling about something. One more trap to check. <laughs> Tana doesn't like the other trap. Nope. Nothing in that one either, guys. Whatever it was must be full from eating CWC yesterday. <laughs> Morning, Moose. Maybe tonight we'll have better luck catching what came and got CWC in one of our olive egg layer chickens the other day. We got some new farm animals coming in a couple of days. That means we gotta get the goat area finished up today. So that way tomorrow we can get the goats moved over here, get some temporary fencing set up, and then the old goat barn will be ready for the new critters. <laughs> we got a lot to get done. We got this wall all framed up. I gotta finish cutting the boards and Gina's gonna come out, she's gonna help me build the wall. And we gotta make another wall divider right here. And we gotta figure out what we're doing for doors. So we gotta get to work, guys. I'm excited to be partnering up and working with Yod Watch again this month. We got another nice watch right here, the Dover. Guys, I love wood. <laughs> I love making man glitter. I love being able to create and craft so much stuff from wood. It's just a passion of mine. And Yod Watch makes wood watches right here in St. Louis. Man, they're a beautiful wood watch. One of the things I love about the two we've gotten from them so far, they have an automatic wind feature. Let's see if we can focus in. Focus, boom. Can you see all the mechanics in the background? It's a self-winding watch, and for me, anybody else who likes to talk with their hands all the time, 
it automatically winds the watch. <laughs> I don't have to ever worry about my watch battery going dead because I'm always doing this when I'm talking and I'm working. So it's perfect for that. But we're excited to be teaming up with them. We're gonna be doing another giveaway. There's gonna be a link in the description down below to sign up. One lucky winner is gonna get a chance to win a watch of their choice up to I believe it's $219. And for everybody that signs up for the giveaway, you're going to get a 10% off promo code after the giveaway is done. And that promo code is good for two months, so I'm excited to see who the winner is. All right, yesterday I wrote down a measurement of our next board. So 80 and 3 eighths. And we need to be a 14 degree bevel. That end looks good. This end we're going to want up against... Trying to think, get back into building mode. So this side needs to be the 80 and 3 eighths, and that's the short end. So it's for 80 and 3 eighths, and that's gonna go this way. And we have a three degree roof pitch, so that's a 14 degree angle. means our next piece needs to be, it's gonna be growing, we need to get longer. 83, this one's going to be too short. Correct, correct, we can use that for above the door. All right, I'm trying to figure out on this board, we're gonna cut it for the doorway. I'm trying to figure out how we can make this board work without wasting half of it. So I need to cut it long. Then by cutting it long, I wanted to make sure I wasn't wasting the long part over here. And I measured that. We're gonna use this as our first piece for the door. We still have the right height there. All right, so I have three inches, three inches, three inches that I need to cover this, and the rest is gonna be there and all the rest of that 10 and whatever inches is waste. We gotta make it so that piece we can use here. I'm trying to make it work. All right, so now I need to measure up 97 and a half inches. Which is there. to leave three inches. So we need to cut three inches. No, more than three. All right, thinking out loud here. We need to cut, we need to go over that groove. Three and a half inches, three and a half inches. All right. So let's go three and a half. And then we need to stop here. And from this spot, we need five and a half inches. And then we can go like that. So let's get that ankle cut. So we need to go 14 degrees. Take the tape, take this to the table saw. this side, set our depth. All right. 
We have that piece now that we can use. And then we can cut this one down to 83. So instead of wasting that seven inches of wood, we're able, we'll be able to use it for our last piece. So, ah, and it does, sweet. <laughs> Barely anyways. All right, these are all ready for Gina now and I just have to cut that last one. Perfect time and I just finished cutting the boards. Yeah, if we do three boards, that'll be perfect. Rip that last piece down for Gina to four and a quarter. Then we'll have to make our own little dado. So, no, this way was right. All right, we got that ripped down to four and a quarter. Set. I want to make sure they're below 10 inches, and they are. This is our door to go in between the milking room and the goat stalls. Nope, because 
that one is wider. Put it like roughly where your screws are, the board. Something like that, and then go one, two, three. Can I do it now? Yeah, go for it. Okay, so before we even move anything, let's mark the screws. What's that? I mean, you could even if you want. Give me. We'll put. We'll glue the whole thing and put them all back in. Well, I'm just saying. I just want to know. It makes it a lot stronger. Because to me, it's like, oh, it would be already done. I like it. It's gonna be beautiful. Then we can let this dry while we um, build the other partition wall. So we're gonna mark whatever this is. Let's go. 115 and a half. But it was on the other side too. Awesome.
We're gonna make our opening for the goat stalls 36 inches. So there to there. So I'll cut one two by four. Now as we're deciding this, we're trying to get it to work with the space we have. We're trying to get it to work with our climate. That's a big thing here. We get really cold in the winter time. So we want to make sure it's a smaller area. The goats can keep warm with their body heat and that we have stuff on the inside walls, not the outside walls, and that it works to separate them. We're also gonna have more stalls we can customize over there so we'll know whether or not we like this setup. And we're putting this all together with screws. Looks good. measurements in our doorway. So 28 5 8 28 and a quarter. Down here we are 28 and a half. So the narrowest spot is right here 28 and a quarter. So we'll want to make our door a half inch narrower than that. So we'll have a quarter inch reveal all the way around. So if we go 27 and 3 quarters for the width of that door. Now we need 77 inches.
I got the stops to rest the door on. I can't go anywhere. Like that, like that. That's too big of a gap down there. Now I want two of these cut at 34 and three quarters. Nope. I don't want to use that one. I want three of knots. That'll work. 34 and three quarters to one. I put a whole bunch of glue down.
only if the goats knew what we were building for them. Yeah. You always wanted a bunk bed? Instead of a man cave, this will be the genus cave. A baby goat. Barbara. <laughs> Well, we got quite a bit accomplished today, but we're not quite ready for the new animals yet. Whew, I almost slipped and said what they were. I wanted to let you all know about the DIY Homestead Know-How Crash Course that's going on from August 5th, which has already started, till August 11th this coming Sunday. There's been quite a few of you who have already signed up for it. I've actually been blown away with how many of y'all have signed up for it. But if you don't know about it yet, there's six of us homesteading YouTubers have put together this crash course. There's one video from each of us, and they're all for free for this time. There's I made the video, Justin Rhodes made a video, Ben and Meg Holler made a video. They're talking about what to think about before quitting the rat race and getting into your homestead, which they have just done. We have Casey Ostrich, which is a really good gardener. He's talking about fall gardening. We have Jason from Solar Land. He's showing you how to make a veggie station. And we have the fit farmer, Mike, Mike Dickerson, teaches how to lose weight and stay fit on the farm. These are some awesome videos. And I just want you guys, if you want to go check it out, to make sure you have a chance to go check it out. It's a free viewing. After the free viewing, you're going to have a chance to sign up for Justin Rhodes' DIY Abundance Member Area. On there, you're going to have his you're going to have access to his member website, which has tons of videos we've made some in the past for him. And then you're going to have access to his Facebook forum uh, group. And we're going to be making one video a month for that. And we're also going to be on the Facebook page. And he actually just asked me to do a live video in October with him, which I said, yep, I'd love to do that. But the videos that we're going to be making once a month, they're going to be more of a how-to video or whatever you guys would like. I'm going to let you guys mold and take the videos the way you want them to. I'm going to be asking for your feedback. I'm going to be asking for what kind of videos you want. So I'm going to let you dictate how we do that. If you want videos on the barn, if you want videos on raising goats, pigs, whatever you want, that's what we're going to make. And they're going to be more in-depth videos, sharing what we're doing, but like on one specific thing at a time. So I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait to be more one-on-one -on -one with you guys. So thanks for coming along on our journey list, guys. You're a huge blessing to us in our homestead. And don't forget to sign up for the free watch giveaway. That's down in the description down below. And we'll see you right back here in tomorrow's video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.